Our next stop exudes mom and popness, for it is highly specialized, devoting itself mostly to one product that many people might think is on its way out. Here is the Fountain Pen Hospital. You might think fountain pens went the way of cufflinks and record vinyl. Something to wax nostalgic about from the good old days. Step into the Fountain Pen Hospital on Warren Street and be happily mistaken. You and Why things are dying in, yeah. right? But we're very unique in what we do. There's not too many. There's not too many stores like us. And like I said, we sell worldwide. Customer service is very, very important to us, and we just keep building and building and building. Fountain Pen Hospital is a shop that buzzes with activity. Salesmen eagerly wait on shoppers from all walks of life. Bankers, politicians, students, and tourists, each looking to step up their penmanship. The showroom boasts the largest selections of pens in the world, with some 4,000 on display. There are high-quality ballpoints, rollerballs, and their signature item, finely made fountain pens. We've got different price ranges from $5 up to $40,000. All depends on what's, what the pen's made with, if it's certain stones in there, if it's diamonds, if the pen is a gold nib, a steel nib. The business began in 1946. Terry says his father Philip and grandfather Albert started the business first as a repair service. Today, pen repair is largely overshadowed by their retail side, but the hospital moniker stuck. Part of the family's success is knowing when to change with the times. In the late 1970s, when fountain pens fell out of favor due to the invasion of cheap ballpoint pens, the store switched over to selling office supplies to stay afloat. In the late 1980s, big chain stores came in and took away that business. So the family decided to go back to their roots, and luckily fountain pens were just coming back into style. Today, Terry and his brother Steve run the business with some 15 employees. Through the years, the Fountain Pen Hospital has seen its share of well-known personalities, including Ernest Hemingway, Betty Grable, and Count Basie. But one customer stands out, not for his fame, but his friendship. Bill Cosby. He's been such an unbelievable person for us. He's even plugged us on David Letterman show and uh, Kathy Lee and Regis. Uh, he's on our telephone entry machine. He's on our website. I mean, he's an amazing person. We just hit it off 15 years ago, and we don't treat him any different than anybody else, and he respects that. It is understandable why Mr. Cosby and countless others love a finely made pen. First, there is the quality of penmanship it allows for the ink flows better and easier, thus giving a better script. Also, the pen's nib is more sensitive and responsive to a person's touch and actually gives a better portrayal of one's unique penmanship. But sorry, Lefty, speaking from personal experience, it does nothing to improve our cursed penmanship. And let it not be forgotten how a nicely written note really stands apart from a quickly fired off email or instant text. Variety of pens are across the board. Pens are made of every imaginable material, be it copper, steel, leather, gold, diamonds, even cooled lava. Big collector's market, tremendous. A new limited edition come out, the phones run off the hook. People want to keep up with all the, the latest limited editions that come out with these companies. Themes can be classic to quirky, like limited edition Beals pens or pens shaped like crayons. There are even pens infused with authentic historic artifacts. Take for instance the Crone brand Abraham Lincoln pen, which has actual DNA from the president himself fused in the pen cap. There is also the Spirit of St. Louis pen, which has an actual piece of Charles Lindbergh's plane and to keep up with the times, Fountain Pen Hospital even sells highlighter fountain pens complete with day glow yellow ink wells. They also offer pens with iPad styluses embedded on the other end. Bells and whistles aside, Terry says there's just something special about a finely made fountain pen. 
you go to a closing with an attorney, he's not going to pull out a pick. He's going to most of the time they're going to pull out a beautiful pen, and it really starts conversation. Fountain Pen Hospital is open regular business hours, but they also do a robust business on the web and by mail order.